In this video, we're going to take a look at the positioning tool. This tool will allow us to assign piece marks to all the parts that we need to detail. In order to do this, we need to first make sure that the model has been properly modeled. One of the most important things is to make sure that the objects have been grouped together. And we can see here, if we go to the group tab, that the column, the base plate, and the gusset are part of the same group because they changed color. Notice how I go to any other tab. Uh, these are red and the column is blue. When I go to the group tab, they turn black and red for the main part. So I know my grouping is already done properly. The next thing you need to make sure of is that in the group data, you have the part family assigned to what it is. Although I selected a plate, it is part of the group column. And then in the part itself, it is assigned as a base plate. So the part family is also something very important to be set before piece marking. Once all of these have been done, we are actually ready to piece mark. So let's do, for example, our base plates. Now to piece mark our base plates, we're simply going to need to go to the piece marking tool, we're going to need to go to the Steel Positioning tab. I'm going to reset all my numbers to zero, so I start at number one. I'm just going to make sure that my filtering options are all set properly for comparing and so on. So I'm just comparing length, width, height, length, addition, weight, and name. I'm not caring for other differences. I'm doing shapes, user shapes, and uh, polyplates. All good. And I'm ready to piece mark. Now when piece marking, I have three buttons I can use. First button will piece mark single objects. Second button will piece mark the assemblies, the groups. And the third button will do both parts and assembly number. In this case, I'm just going to do base plate, so I'm going to use the first button. Now once you click on this, you are allowed to do multiple selections here. You can either pick all the plates manually by holding the control key pressed. You can say choose all, so it'll choose the whole st structure, so actually everything will be positioned, which is not what I want to do. Or if you have a lot of elements and you don't want to have to go and pick them one by one, you can always use the filter tool. Now using the filter tool, I am going to tell it that I want to piece mark according to what rule. Well, I'm going to tell it I'm going to use the part family, since I know that my objects are already assigned with a part family. Now, by default, I don't see anything in this list, so I'm just going to scan my whole model. And now I should see on this side all the available part families. So I'm going to say base plate. So anything that is equal to base plate. And let's assign that as my expression. And then I say OK. And I say choose all. And it's only going to find the objects that have been tagged as a base plate. And notice how it's telling me it found eight elements. That's eight plates. And it gave them the number one. They're all identical. I accept. I am done with the base plates. I reset my numbering to zero, and I go again to positioning. This time, let me do another element. Like, for example, let's do the clip angles. I will simply change the, res the research here to part family equal. Now I'm going to go to clip angles and make sure that's the expression being used. I accept. Choose all. And it's only going to do my elements that have been tagged as clip angles. And as you can see, there's quite a few. There's 11 different type of clip angles in this model, but there's 166 clip angles overall. And that is done. I can reset my number to zero and I can continue on, for example, with the bracing. What other elements do we have? The handrails and so on. I'm going to stop there for the single parts. Now I'm going to go for the columns and the beams. So in order to do that, now I'm going to tell it I want to start, let's say, on number 100. So I'm going to tell it last number was 99. Actually, I'll say 100, so it starts at 101. All right. And now I'm not going to tell it part. I'm going to tell it both, the part and the group. When I need to select, instead of using the filter of part families, this time I'm going to use the filter of the description. So I'm going to go for my part description. I'm going to remove the previous filter. I need to scan my model so it actually finds all the available descriptions. Now what I'm looking for here is anything that's called column. 
And then I'm going to change this for a wildcard. And I'm going to accept that as my expression. And when I tell it to go for it and choose all, it's only going to find my columns. So I should have 14 columns. So it found only my 14 columns. These are the numbers for all my different columns that I've got here. When I accept, then it goes for the groups. Because this column is not the same group as this one, as this one has gusset plates and this one doesn't. So that's where it's differentiating. It's creating a new number for the group. I'm done with the columns. I reset the numbers to zero. I go back and now I'll set it, let's say, to 100 again. And this time I'm going to do my beams. So I go again for groups and parts. I go to filters. I remove the last expression that I used. I don't remember what the name was, so I just go to part description. I scan my whole model. It takes a few seconds. Dialog box is in the back, so I just need to bring it to the front. There it is. And change this now to beams. So beams are here. I've got two different type of beams, but I'm going to call them all the same. So I'll just put my wildcard and I accept that expression and I'll say apply, choose all, and now it's only looking at my beam elements that have been tagged as beams. And as you can see, it's finding all these W elements, 34 different beams. I accept. Now it goes for the group or the, the assemblies, 34 assemblies, but not all different. Some are identical and so on. I could obviously continue on. I'm going to stop here and you can do the rest if you want to continue with the other elements.